Minecraft, let's denek dance. It's the dance of ultra hardcore in multiplayer. Today is June 12th. We had another ultra hardcore match, and I'll warn you guys this may end badly. Or perhaps I'm just trolling you. You'll never know unless you watch. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, server says go. Zero minutes. Let me start my timer. All right, and let's hope that we don't have too much block lag, hopefully. Good luck, have fun. It's another ultra hardcore. This time I think we just have 20 players. The map is 2000 by 2000, but we're gonna have sudden death in two hours rather than three hours, so it might be a shorter match. And let's go ahead and start creating some tools. Uh, I wanna see, do I see any stone around? I see reeds, which I will get, and I see chickens. And I don't immediately see stone, and so I think I'll dig down to it. And, oops, did I already lose a reed? There we go. Let's replant them for the moment. Um, let's dig down, and then let's kill some chickens. Oops. All right. It is once again early in the morning for Brian, and I didn't sleep as much as I would like. I don't really feel like I'm feeling too bad right now, but I'm worried that I haven't had enough rest, and eventually that's going to kick in, so we'll see. See, already I haven't made enough sticks. Let's see. Yesterday morning, I forgot to upload the end of crafting before I went to work, just because I forgot. And so if you're wondering why it came out late yesterday, that's why. This morning, since I knew I had this ultra hardcore match coming up, I uploaded uh, a Vinyl Fantasy episode early, basically right before I went to bed. Or actually, after I went to bed, because I went to bed and then I wasn't able to sleep, and so I got back up and... Decided to do that and watch some other videos. This is a nice find of uh, eight iron right at the beginning. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see. I need to make a staircase back up though right now, or just pillar back out of here. How do we get out of here? There we go. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and make a stone sword and make an axe. And let's also make a furnace, since we already have some stuff to cook. And in a moment, I will actually be able to cook it, but first I will need some charcoal. Three minutes. So let's go ahead and get a tree down. Oops, and get some planks I can use to cook up some charcoal. Like so. Alright, and then I'll kill these chickens in a moment, but before I do... I haven't done a player look, actually. Although if people are smart, they won't come after me right at the beginning. But yeah, we're in a pretty dense forest, too, so I think it's going to be hard to see players. Alright, I'm going to cut down a few trees, and then I'll kill these chickens. The chickens aren't going to get far. The trees, on the other hand, could drop apples. And saplings! So the fact that you could potentially use saplings to go tr grow trees underground was just something that I really hadn't thought about in depth before. But with ravines and some big rooms, it's certainly reasonable. Hey, an apple, great. Uh, to try to do that, let's go ahead and cook up the iron that I have. And I'll make a first piece of armor. All right, let's chop down... One more tree, and then we'll go kill those chickens. Did I see something over there? What is this? It's an apple. Is this a tree that I chopped down? Maybe right at the beginning that was the tree I chopped down. All right, I saw something red, and I was like, what is that? All right, let's kill these chickens. Let's hope my reeds grow so that I have three of them at least. 
And let's hope the chickens are kind enough to give me some feathers. I hear... Oh, I guess that's a squid on the sand below. It's never good to hear other sounds. Uh, this apple either just spawned there or someone else spawned here. I'm a little worried that there might be someone else in the area. All right, but I guess I can't be too worried about it. I don't see anybody. And, yeah, if my eyes aren't helping me, I'm not going to do that well anyway, even if there is someone there. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. That is the sound of the squid underwater. All right, I have armor, which is great. Let's go ahead and also make another pick, because I'm sure I'm going to need that. Watch it turn out that I don't need that. All right, and... Oops. Pick up these Six things. Minutes. It looks like there's another apple over here, which is outstanding. Yeah, it seems like we just have apples, like, despawning and some leaves for no reason. Not clear why that's happening, but I'm reasonably happy about it. All right, only two reeds, but I'm going to go ahead and take them, and we are going to scour the earth for more food animals. I guess I should have been going ahead and trying to cook up some chicken for the last moments there. Oh, here's my F3. Uh, don't know what's up with that. Here's some more reeds. And I hear more like leaves, leaf despawning sounds or something, but here's... Yep, here's another apple. I don't understand what is happening with all these apples that are just like falling out of nowhere. I'm going to take the reeds uh, after seeing some other people's ultra hardcore. It occurs to me that, you know, it's always possible. Oh, there's a lava lake. Oh, that explains everything. Some trees caught fire, I bet, and burned, and I didn't notice. And did I show you guys the list of players? There's the list of players. All right, the lava lake. I'm not. Okay, cows. Great. We are seven minutes in, according to my clock, and so we have a little bit more time to kill some animals up top. Just trying to do player looks real quick. So let's get a little bit more food, hopefully. Did that cow drop nothing? Oh, there's some drops up here. Here's another cow. Hello, tree cow. And is that a cave system? Nope. All right. I would like to get out of the forest, if possible. Oh, I hear a spider, which could be good. Here's some coal. Oh yeah, we must be around a big cave system that's full of enemies, apparently. Alright, so I don't necessarily want to run headlong into that. Let's grab some coal, because that could be really useful. Uh, and let's just peek around and see if possibly we can get out of this forest or find any other animals. Other than the squid on the bottom of the ocean that I don't really need. Someone says, man, the nether is harsh. I almost could have been in the nether by now, given the lava pool and given the early iron that I found, but I went a different direction. Uh, chickens. No, that's a sheep. I saw something white and moving. Let's see. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. The sun is going to be going down soon. Oop. I hear it's probably a underground lava lake right there. And here is a lake lake. It's a little bit more coal. Can I get out of the forest? The reason I like to be out of the forest is so that if I dig down... Uh, I can come up at the end of the first night, right before daybreak, and I like to come up in a plane. Ooh, someone has been here, because here's some trees chopped down. 
and oftentimes you can see names through snow. There's a sheep as well. Someone hates skellies. Well, everybody hates skellies, but someone's announcing it in the chat. I'm going to try to pay more attention to the chat. I expect I'm going to suck at it, but people have requested that. I guess maybe because there's interesting or funny things there, or I don't know why. Ah, can never get out of this forest. And I almost just fell in a hole there, I think. Oh, and I can no longer sprint. All right, if we don't see any food animals in just a sec. Pigs. I don't know that I need you guys, but I will take it. Okay. Um, it says 10 minutes on my clock, but the sun hasn't gone down yet. And so it seems like the game time might be a little laggy. Oh, I see the sun setting, though. Alright, so I think we just need to find a place to dig. Because it doesn't seem like I'm getting out of this forest. Looks like there might be a... Oh no, it's a lake, not a cave. I'm keeping enough of an eye on my food. But I'm not going to starve. But yeah, I'm not seeing any better clearing to try to go into, so... I will set down a furnace. And we will start cooking up some food. And I will cover up the hidey hole. And we will start to dig as we often do. And I need to make a better well, shovel. Man. So let's go ahead and get that going. Oh, hello. Oops, let's use a better pick. Coal, coal, coal is always a welcome start. Speaking of coal, I need to make some torches. Torches, torches, torches. Brian loves having torches. All right, and let's also get some food so that I don't starve. All right, we'll leave that cooking. Actually, do I have a second set of things I'm going to need to cook? Uh, yes, because I have pork and chicken. Go ahead and swap this out. I only got that from that. All right. But we've got plenty of coal to get started. Thank God for charcoal. Who are you going to coal? All right, can probably start up the next batch of something in here. Let's do, oops, let's go ahead and get rid of my charcoal that I won't need anymore. Free up an inventory slot. Who needs charcoal when you got coal coal? All right, and I hear bad things up on the surface. We're going to start digging a staircase down. We know there's plenty of coal back here if we need to come up for it for some reason. Come up to, for it, for blah, blah, blah. Brian speaks words, and I never made myself a better shovel, and I do not have many sticks, so let's fix all of these things. I would like a stone shovel. Not worried about that. Don't need the apples on my bar. I should make another furnace so that I can go ahead and cook up my glass. Let's go ahead and get that going, actually, right down here. Zoom, zoom. I will go ahead and grab that chicken. Grab my crafting table. And then since we have this here, we might as well go ahead and mine some gravel and try to get some flints. I think I got three feathers, and so if we can get three flints, that'll be 
good enough for me, and I think that's my third flint right there. Um, and so, with the space I just made here, I can go ahead and put down the crafting bench, and I'll also try to get the chicken out. Let's do... Oh, I only got two flints. Sorry, my bad. One more flint is needed. I demand flint. Minutes. And it just occurred to me, I hear a spider, and he's probably up on the roof right above me. Uh, and so I should kill him to get his string. And so I will do that in just a moment. He should be close enough that he's not going to despawn, because he's only like eight blocks above me or something. There we go, there's another flint. Okay, great. Um, I don't need the arrows yet, but I just want to go ahead and craft them go ahead and free up those inventory slots. Um, I should have some glass over here. And so let's go back up to the surface, find the spider. He should be easy to kill, especially if he's alone. Yep, there he is. I will put that there so I can see, and then I'll use this kind of hole to kill him, hopefully. Darn it. I really didn't think he could hit me from there. All right, so we just took some damage. That's unfortunate. Uh, if I jump up, is he going to hit me again? Can I coerce him to come this way? There we go, and there's string. Okay, great. All right, string dropped in. Closing that back up. Where'd the string go? Did I get the string? Yes. Oh, and there's another spider. Hold on. There he is. All right, this time I'm going to run back and forth and get him to run across so that I don't have to jump out. Because apparently that's a much smarter thing to do. All right, if I back up here, there we go. He should run across. Okay, and I can't tell if he dropped anything. Doesn't look like he did, so that's a bummer. Uh, all right. People are talking about being late. Yes, we started 20 minutes ago. Um, let's go ahead and grab that and this. All right, we have one piece of string. But I need to remember... Alright, this is good. I learned something already, which is basically when you're fighting the spiders underground, never bother jumping up. Just walk back and forth until they get directly above you. That way you don't have to worry about taking any damage. Slowly, I think I am accumulating tactical learning. I'm not sure the words I'm looking for here. 18 minutes already. All right, I wasted a lot of time actually kind of doing that, and now I haven't found... All right, I hear a cave down here. And so I'll probably end up staying downstairs for the night. Oh, I hear a bunch of zombies. There's an outside chance we'll find a dungeon, which will be great. All right, zombies, which direction are you? Can't really tell. They're very loud. They might be directly below me, actually. So in anticipation of that contingency... But I really do think we may have found a dungeon. I still have very little armor, and so I need to be extremely careful, but a zombie dungeon... is definitely the easiest kind of dungeon. And dungeons are great because you can make an experience farm, if you happen to get an enchanting table, uh, you can get loot chests that often will have, you know, string and other good things in them. And I think that the zombie dungeon has got to be this way. There it is. Okay, and so I'm going to circle around it. And just kind of light it up from the outside, because I think that'll be the safest thing to do. Let's go ahead and create some more torches, torches, torches. 
Okay, plenty of torches, and I need to swap these back out. Um, I'm right on the corner of the dungeon here, it appears. Is this a double dungeon? I'm a little confused. That's kind of a weird shape. Um, I need to plug this back up because there might be a cave system adjacent, and I don't want a skeleton to spawn in it. Although right now all I hear is zombies, so that's good. The zombies should be easy to kill. I need to make sure I keep the area outside extremely well lit, because I don't want a zombie to spawn outside the dungeon. Because it looks like it is a small dungeon room. Here's some more iron, which I desperately need. Um, let's try to go ahead and silent the, silence the dungeon first. Actually, I can go ahead and get the... Uh, let's do this. Some iron right under the floor of the dungeon. Very nice, very nice. Oops, crap, crap, crap. Okay. We're going to go ahead and start cooking up this iron. As we do continue to make our way around the dungeon. Twenty-one minutes. All right, there's at least one chest in there. Got another torch. And I guess I don't really need to kill the zombies and get the experience uh, if it's not adjacent to anything. I can just get the chest for now. Oops, let's make sure this is well lit here. Yo, those zombies seem close. All right, and so the chest was... Where was the chest? There's the chest. Oops. Let's do this. I will plug this back up. I'll plug... Oops. That back up. And I'll take out this block so I can get to the chest. I haven't ever uh, found a dungeon, I think, in Ultra Hardcore. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, happy with that. I have enough armor at this point, or iron at this point, that I can make some more armor. And so I need to do that. And then I guess I should just note the coordinates. Minus 881, minus 657, 30. All right, and so if we need uh, an experience farm, we have one right there. I'm gonna try to get a little distance away from them now. And I should go ahead and make the armor, actually, right now. And so let's go ahead and set down the crafting table, which I guess I left somewhere. I will make another one. Or maybe I just don't see it, don't know. But let's go ahead and make some leggings. Because staying alive is key at the beginning of the game. And I'm going to go ahead and put the bread in my bar so I can go ahead and finish that up. And let's go ahead and item repair these picks. And let's actually go ahead and there's a crafting table here and make another pick. Um, alright. And I have plenty of apples and I have plenty of food. Yeah, so we can afford to just continue staying underground. And so I'm going to plug that back up just in case... Somehow the noise attracts another player. I haven't done a player look down here. Don't think I see anyone. Spoiters! Alright, so at this point, uh, I'm getting down near... I guess I haven't found a cave yet. All I found was the dungeon. And so I'm worried that I might be in an area with no caves. 24 minutes. Which will not be good for trying to gather resources. And so let's keep our ears open now that we're out of range of the zombie dungeon. Excuse me. Zombie spawner. All right, I hear lava. I think down this way. All right, it's nice to have those zombies far enough away that I can kind of like hear myself think again. And in a moment, I'll have to see how I'm doing on cold to see if I need to grab that.
Ouch, ITMO. All right, let's take a look at where everybody is. There you go. ITMO's down half. Ooh, and I see uh, Bedrock. Hold on. Oh, I'm down at Y of 7. All right, so 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's stay above the lava. But is the lava over this way? Where's the lava? Hello, lava. I am hoping that you will lead to a cave system. Ah, there's... Oops, that, 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 that. All right, there's some iron right there that I really want to get. But I need to be... That might be, like, in lava, and so it might be, oops, crap, about to fall in lava, and so I guess I have to mine up a little bit higher. Oh, here's some iron. Still worried that there might be lava behind it. Can I get around it just to see? Okay, it looks like... Let's just be ready for lava to appear behind here, possibly. Okay, and that's the cobblestone I just placed. For a minute, I thought I found another dungeon. All right. Let's go ahead and cook up some more iron. And, all right, with that, I might go ahead and make an iron pick. Let's go ahead and item repair these guys. Item repair! Do, 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 do. Is the song you must sing. Okay, and here is the lava, and sadly, it does not seem to be attached to a cave. All right, and so I guess I will close that up. Um, all right, where was that coal? Well, that's going... Okay, here's coal. I'm going to stay a little bit away from it, just in case there's more lava over here that I'm not anticipating. But let's grab this while my iron is cooking up, but then we might just have to go in a different direction to try to find a cave. Okay, I think I'm doing okay on coal now. That is all cooked. Let's see, with E6, yeah, let's go ahead and craft a... 27 minutes. Who's it and a what's it? And I guess I left a crafting table back somewhere. Um, bad luck, Brian. No dumbness. Should not have fought the spider that way. Wasn't luck. It was lack of skill. All right, I think I'm going to make a iron pick and a bucket. And of course, I hear zombies. Zombies upon zombies upon zombies. Oh, I should, uh, with the bucket, I should go ahead and grab some lava before I go. Because lava is very useful in caves. I think lava is actually more useful in PvE, player versus environment, uh, than it is in PvP. Uh, I'm not sure if others would agree with that. Uh, or not, but that's how I feel. Um, and it's a little bit dangerous to have a lava bucket on your bar, especially when you don't own a water bucket, but so far I have not managed to, or at least I don't, I don't recall ever accidentally uh, burning myself. All right, and so this is just the zombie dungeon again. So we should be safe around here. But now I'm not gonna be able to hear Kind of any other good directions to hear, listen for caves. We're at 28 minutes. Yuck. Probably just need to like dig in another direction. Um, or I could try to just find a cave system entrance somewhere. I could go back up top. I do not have a lot right now. And it's about to turn, it's probably about to turn nighttime again pretty soon. Oh, that time I really thought I might have just seen a player. Hold on. Let me get back down here. Alright, maybe it was just particles from... Oh, I just thought I saw it again. I can't tell. Alright, I'm a little worried that there might be a player somewhere up there, and so instead... Let's see, last time I dug down that way, this time we're going to dig down this way and see if we find a cave system down this way. And with our iron pick, we'll be able to dig a little bit faster. 
And let's hope we have some better luck in terms of finding a cave. Because at this point, I've got the best parts of my armor. So I would be happy to go ahead and find a cave system so I could do some faster exploring. Yeah, because we're already a quarter of the way through the match at about a half an hour. 30 minutes. And I am not at all geared up. I expect some people have found, you know, diamonds and gold already by now. I know I've had found that much stuff by this early in the match if you get off to a good lucky start. <laughs> gold but no iron pick. I think I've been there as well. Oh, there's just no caves here. Might have to switch picks. If this iron pick gets down to half and I haven't found more stuff. Just trying to do a quick player look. I also need a quick sip of water. Okay, that should be good. What's my Y coordinate? 30. So we're back on the same level as the dungeon. Here's some iron. Okay, great. This could be the start of something beautiful. Maybe there's some gold right behind it. Oh, wow! Double iron deposit. Or possibly triple. That was a lot of contiguous iron. I am very happy. Let's go ahead and get that cooking. Yep, 16 iron. How awesome is that? Okay, well, I won't be wanting for iron anymore. I will, yeah, go ahead and make an iron sword. I'll make the rest of my iron armor. I'll make another couple of buckets. I'll make an iron axe, probably. And an iron shovel. Iron everything! Iron all the things! I'm still not hearing anything, though. I'm worried that this is going to be an extremely fruitless visit, blah, visit back down to the bedrock again. Well, I guess it's not fruitless since I got the iron, but... Oh, redstone. I really haven't come up with any, like, great traps uh, to do in the mind crack Ultra Hardcore season that's going on. Paws and beef. Oh, here's some more iron. Laid some traps. Thought I saw like a weird particle effect or something. With kind of like little houses where you walk in and fall into lava or something. And my inventory is full. Let's get rid of something I don't need, like cobble. 33 minutes. All right. We we're going to have plenty of iron. What level was I down to there? I was down to... About 10. Yuck, and I didn't hear any caves, so I have to give up. Uh, Alright, I need to cook up more iron. And then I need to set down the crafting bench. And create... Oops, did I not grab any of the iron? Boots. And a hat. And I need to start getting rid of some inventory that I don't need. I don't need leather. I don't need one seed. I don't need wooden tools. I don't need this much cobble. And the rest I can all live with for now. All right, I need iron tools. I need an iron sword. We'll hold on to the stone sword in reserve. I'm going to need another iron pick, in which case I can throw away the stone pick. I will need an iron shovel and an iron axe. And then I need another bucket. And then I think there were three more that I could get another bucket, but let's throw away that. 
and that. Let's swap that out. I can throw away that. Let's grab that and that. Let's get the bucket on my bar so that I don't forget about it. Let's get more blocks on my bar because you always want to have plenty of blocks in your bar. And then I think I can create one more bucket. Is that what it was? Yes. Okay. In terms of iron, we are kitted out. Uh, in terms of food, I will be able to eat this bread shortly as I jump back up all these stairs. And if we get back up to the surface before daybreak, we might be able to kill another spider. So that could be good. Always looking on the bright side. Maybe. Alright, so what do I hear? I'm going to shift while I'm waiting here. Alright, a spider. Great. Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> Someone wrote that as opposed to that actually happening in the game log. Hey, spider. I know you want to drop me some string. Yes, he did! Alright, I need to plug that up. I believe the string dropped here. There it is. I don't care that I'm covering these up with visible bricks. Because I think, was that my third piece of string? Six minutes. I think it might be. Or do I only have two? Nope, I have three. Awesome. So now, things change again. Um, crap. I need to leave that there. Let's leave the box in my bar. Okay. Um, now I'm going to need to go to uh, the surface in the daytime in order to find more chickens. I am armored up, and so I could try to kill players if I see them. And, uh, da -da 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 -da. let's go ahead and move the chicken on my bar. I think we still have, like, four minutes. Crap, until daytime. And so... Let's go down to around 30 and then make one more turn. All right, 34. And then I turned because I was hearing the zombie dungeon, and so let's... Oh, no. That is the zombie dungeon. Why has it gotten quiet? Oh, because I have lights in there and they despawned. Ha 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 ha. Um, let's double check then that that was indeed the only chest. Oh, no, there's another chest and there's a cave. <laughs> wow. Um, oh, rats. I will take that in case I somehow decide to make a trap. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't believe I missed that. Well, I do believe I missed that. <laughs> okay, here's the water that I need. Don't hear any bad guys yet. Okay, and here is a big cave and a bunch of badness. So we're going to try to run into the narrower part. I see something. I see lots of things. All right, I want to go down. And so I'm going to try to close this off mostly. Just well enough to keep bad guys from following me that way. All right, I see a zombie over there. And it looks like... Oh, and here's some gold. All right, and it looks like there might be something up here. The zombie may be able to pathfind to me. And so before he does... Let me just close that up. Oh dear, there's a bunch of cave over here. Let's go ahead and close this up as well. Okay, and so I think I'm at least safe to go ahead and get the gold. All right, and so we'll have to wait for the moment. All right, so another thing to learn is that dungeons... 39 minutes really are very, very often connected to cave systems, and so you should really take a hard look at them. And so far, all I hear here is two zombies, I think. I see one of them. Doesn't look like there's anything over there. All right, we got some lava. Here comes this zombie. I think I could even, like... Actually, I do want to kill him for experience, potentially. And I'm not getting too much lag here, and so this should be fine. Not sure where the other zombie is that I hear yet, and so let's be careful. There's a bunch of lava here that I'm worried about potentially getting knocked into. 
So let's put some of that out. And before we go exploring, let me back up here real quick. Zombie might be on the other side of this thing. Let's create some more torches. And actually, I need to... Uh, let's throw away some cobble. And let's hold on to a piece of coal. Actually, I can hold on to half of it. I don't need that many torches right now. Okay. All right. This is an extremely dangerous looking area, but I haven't lit up much, and so we shouldn't have, like, monsters should have plenty of places to spawn. I'm just trying to peek down there to see if I see diamonds. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, gosh. I hear things. I hear something splashing. I'm going to close this up behind me again. This looks like we have a lot of lava over here, and so I think... This sounds more promising uh, in terms of being lots I can explore without too many enemies, hopefully, down at the lava layer. There's a little lighting update. Fix your game, Jeb. I heard a spider drop. I don't see any signs of, uh, what do you call, the evil thing with the spiders that you don't like? Abandoned mine shaft. All right, let's just start this way. Keeping in mind that there's plenty of space behind me for monsters to sneak up. I'm more nervous this time around for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the... Oh, crap, crap, crap! Maybe it's instincts trying to tell me that things are not safe. Oh, gosh. All right. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um, I have four gold at this point, and I am going to need it. The good news is I did get a bunch of apples to start, and so if we manage to find some more gold, minutes. we'll be okay. I already have a lava bucket, so let's go ahead and plug that up. And go ahead and get some more of this lava put out so we can explore at this level. I really think diamonds are the most valuable thing to find, because if you find five diamonds, you get your enchanting table. Then you can enchant your armor to make yourself that much stronger. And then you're able to last a whole lot. All right, there's some gold. Great. And that was just a lighting bug. Okay, great. And it doesn't look like... I'm going to put the water bucket down here just in case. All right, but we are safe there, it seems. All right, let's pick up the water again. I can go ahead and make my first golden apple. I've got plenty of lava protecting me there, and I'm closed in over here, I believe. Let's just make double sure. Now I'm a little paranoid. Like that. Okay. But we will get ourselves back up to health. Oh, and I should have... I have another bucket. I should have gotten another water bucket, potentially. Actually, one water bucket typically is enough. I rarely need an infinite water source for anything in here. All right, so we're going to leave that cooking. All right, this opens up into a cave with diamonds. Awesome. Please give me one more. No, four is a troll number of diamonds. I need five. All right, won't complain. We just need to find another patch. Don't need the iron right now. Uh, what level am I at? I guess I should be at 13. Yeah, how's my coal doing? I do need more coal. Let's stand out of the way so gravel and monsters don't fall on us. Should do a quick player look. Player look. Player look. Player. I guess they'd mostly be above me, and I'm not necessarily looking above me anyway. I right, don't know how valuable that was. All right, I think my gold should be cooked up, so let's go make the apple. And then we'll continue over that way. I need to set down the crafting table. All right. 
And so, oops, need an apple in the middle. Great. That'll feel good. Uh, I will pick the table back up. 45 minutes. Because I think I might be getting a little low on wood. I'm not sure. While I'm standing here, I need to throw away some cobble. Um, like so. And... Yeah, the rest of my inventory still isn't too bad. Uh, I feel like there was one other thing I was just saying that I need to do, and I already don't remember what it is. All right, let's see. We're at 45 minutes. I feel like I'm doing a whole lot better now that I found this cave. Although this cave seems to be ending in all the directions. No, there were a bunch of directions back where I just came from. I'm getting a tiny bit of lag on the water, and so that always worries me. Oh, I should make a diamond pick and go ahead and get the obsidian. That's what I was thinking. Um, so let's go ahead and item repair. That's going to over-repair these, but that's fine. But I'm going to bank on finding another diamond and getting an enchanting table. And so as a result, I want to make sure I go ahead and get my four pieces of obsidian. There might be lava under this. Should have gone ahead and uh, put some water out. Nope, okay, great. Put some water right there. want to do a quick player look okay all right so we'll have our four pieces of obsidian so all we'll need to find is one more diamond and i've already got the diamond pick oh someone blew up how are we doing that is how we are doing we started out with 20 looks like he might have been like the first person to die or something there's a few people who are really low though and i'm doing okay here at 8.5 it is four pieces of obsidian you need right um Da, 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 da. Yes, that's what an enchanting table looks like. Okay, great. I need to get non-obsidian blocks on my bar. Uh, and I do want to pick up the crafting table, and so I really am juggling some inventory at this point. Let's go ahead and uh, also create some more torches. Um, like so. Um, yeah, I can eat a raw pork chop next, actually. Let's do that. Just to go ahead and get that out of my inventory. I don't have to waste time cooking it. I've got plenty of food right now. All right, and beware, because a creeper got me from over here. And so we know that there are openings. Well, obviously, there's a big opening right over here. Oh, that I think I went back and closed off. Okay. 48 minutes. Okay, and so this is... Where there's badness... All right. So guys still seem somewhat far away right now. Let's try going this way. Oh, I heard something fall. Oh, crap, crap. Skelly, Skelly. Ah! Oh, and there's something else over there. Crap, crap. I'm doing badly. Oh, cliffhanger.